In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve an inelastic collision problem, this time involving a bullet colliding into a block. The question reads, a 6.0 gram bullet is fired horizontally into a 2.8 kilogram block resting on a horizontal surface with a coefficient of friction of 0.3. The bullet comes to rest in the block and the block slides 0.65 meters before coming to a stop. What is the velocity of the bullet? Let me begin with a quick illustration. We have a block that is resting on a surface and here's the surface. The surface has a coefficient of friction and I'll represent that with mu being 0 0.3. This number is unitless. And the bullet is right here. It has a mass that is 6.0 grams. I'll write that down in kilograms because eventually we need to find out the work required to overcome the force due to friction. And the unit for that, joules, needs kilograms. So I'll write this down as 0 0.028 kilograms. Its velocity, we don't know. In fact, that's what we're looking for. I'll represent that by little v, and I'll put a question mark next to it. The block has a mass of 2.8 kilograms. 2.8 kilograms. And once the bullet travels into the block, the block and bullet will slide across the horizontal surface. And like I mentioned, all that kinetic energy that is required to make it slide will go into the force due to friction. We'll calculate that in a moment. So we need to set up two formulas much the same way we did with our previous video involving the ballistic pendulum. The first formula relates momentum. Momentum is calculated, momentum being represented by the letter P, is mass times the velocity. Now because this is an inelastic collision problem, all the momentum of the bullet will be conserved and transferred into the bullet and block unit. So the momentum before is equal to the momentum of the combined bullet and block. I'll represent the mass of the block with capital M. So I have little m for the bullet plus capital M gets multiplied to the velocity of them being combined. I'll represent that by big V. Furthermore, I did mention earlier that there will be kinetic energy that is used to push the block bullet combo. Kinetic energy is calculated using the formula half times mass times the velocity raised to the power of two. All of that will go into the work required to overcome the force due to friction along this surface. Work is calculated, that's a W by the way. This is calculated by taking the force times the distance. And I'm representing the distance as X and the force as F. And force is calculated by taking the mass times acceleration. This is acceleration due to gravity. So I have mass times the acceleration, and I'll represent that as G instead of A, times X. And of course, there is a coefficient of friction, so that gets multiplied to the F. I'll represent that as mu. So I have mu times m times g times x. All of this will go into the work required to overcome that. To represent that mathematically, I'll make Ke equal to the amount of work. And to make it specific to the variables that we set, I have half the mass so this time it's the mass of the bullet and the block. So I have to represent this M as M plus capital M for the bullet and for the block times the velocity. The velocity we represented once they're combined with capital V raised to the power of two. That is the kinetic energy and it's equal to the amount of work being mu and again we'll be using the mass being m plus capital M, times the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8 meters per second squared, times x. And x, remember, we have been given as 0 0.65, so we will replace that soon. Now if we were to simplify this equation, you'll notice that m plus v is found on both sides. So you can cancel that out, and simplifying further we get capital V raised to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to mu times 9.8 meters per second squared 
and x can be replaced with 0 0.65 meters. Moving forward, we need an expression to replace this capital V with, and for that we'll use the formula that we came up with at the very beginning. So if I divide both sides by M plus capital M, I get MV over M plus capital M is equal to V. I'll take that expression, this one right here, and I'll throw it into there. So watch what happens. Little m times little v over little m plus big M. Raised to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to, and mu according to the question is 0 0.30 times 9.8 meters per second squared times 0 0.65. Now we're told that the mass of the bullet is 6.0 grams. So in kilograms, that's 0 0.006 kilograms. I'll replace that into little m. 0 0.006 and 0 0.006 plus big M, which is 2.8, gives us 2.806. So that gets replaced into there. We need to solve for V, and you can solve for V by breaking this down little by little. For example, you can start by multiplying both sides by 2. That gets rid of this 2. Then, square rooting both sides. That gets rid of this square and square root. So let me erase everything so far that we don't need. Then we multiply both sides by 2.806. That gets rid of that and we divide both sides by 0 decimal 0, 0, 006. So using our calculator, the square root of 0 0.3 times 9.8 times 0 0.65 times 2, multiply that to 2.806, and then divide that by 0 0.006. That gives us 914.3 meters per second. That is the speed of the bullet before it has reached the block in this problem.